Okay, good morning, everyone. Or if you're watching this YouTube video, we know you're well on your journey to perfect health. And what we're going to be doing this morning is two things. For those of you on a weight loss health journey, we're going to help you break plateaus. We're going to explain to you what's going on in your body. We're going to help you identify things that may be stopping your progress that you want. And then after we spend about 15 minutes there, we're going to move into some auxiliary products that you could utilize uh, in addition, or maybe one day instead of the drops that would get you to your ultimate destination of perfect health, longevity, uh, give yourself the best chance to live a long life, looking young, being vibrant, and enjoying your life into your 70s, 80s, and 90s as we we're designed to do if we don't sabotage our own bodies along the way. So this morning, we've got Kristen White. Kristen has owned a, a, a hybrid slash CrossFit type gym in the state of Tennessee the last eight years, seven plus years. Uh, before that, she was a trainer for 13 years at Gold's Gym. She uh, has got her degree. She's got all kinds of certification. That top right picture there, she came in number two in the entire country uh, in a muscle and fitness type magazine. Uh, a few years ago, her knowledge bank on helping you identify negative ingredients, sabotaging your hormones, uh, sabotaging your weight loss journey. She's just impeccable. And we're going to cover that. Myself, I have got my master's in kinesiology and nutrition. That CSCS stands for Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. It's a certification you've got to have to be a strength coach in college, which was my first career uh, for the first 13 years of my life. That was the journey I was on, really totally related to athletic performance. And one thing I always tell everybody is knowledge does you no good. Everybody on here pretty much knows what you should and shouldn't eat. Now, the food industry is tricky. They will trick you, but, but we have a great ideal. So I've got these before and after pictures up to let you know the knowledge has always been in my head, but the discipline is all that matters. It's not the knowledge. It's day-to-day -day discipline. And what I found out is that I could not maintain the discipline to do what my brain knew I should do until I started doing the skinny drops. And for me, I learned this from a, a doctor named Dr. Mike Dimiego. He's an internist that's in our company. But Dr. Mike always said they do prescription medication based upon age and weight and nutrition should be the same way. So I up my drops to four times a day and they really kicked in for me. And some of the 300 pound stories we've got now, 300 pound plus uh, stories out there that have lost 100, 150 pounds. Some of them started four or five times a day until they feel that appetite control, energy, everything kind of balance out. So that being said, just know that your company, Partner Co, has a hundred products. It's seven different multi-billion dollar industries. And Kristen, who is on our athletic council, I'm going to let you share, if you don't mind, Kristen, the quality of these products and what drew you into, because it wasn't the business, it was the products that drew you into this company. Yeah, absolutely. So I have been a consumer of the products now since 2013. And honestly, when I first got introduced to them, um, my dad showed them to me. And he was looking for some weight loss tools. And to be quite frank, he was about 315 pounds. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. You cannot take a weight loss product without me seeing it. Because as we know, there are things um, in the supplement industry that are not good for you. There's things that accelerate your heart rate, your blood pressure. Uh, there are nasty ingredients. And I said, I'm going to need to see what you're trying to look at before you can take that. Because I was afraid for him. Well, he brought me the skinny drops as what we call them now. And I saw them and I said, let me try them first and I will give you the clearance. Well, he brought me them and I tried them. I looked at the ingredients and at that point I was like, yeah, they look good. I did a little research on them. I lost eight pounds and then I did more research because I was like, well, what's going on? And then I started finding out, oh, look at all the seals on this. Look at all the third-party verifications. Uh, they are doing a whole lot of research that I was doing on my own as I sat in the vitamin shop, as I sat in GNCs, because I was already the product snob. I said, as Todd said, I was in the fitness industry and I was looking for the artificials. I was looking for the synthetics and they were already doing that. So then I was like, what else do the people that make skinny drops have? So then I started using um, the Optimals because at the time there was the skinny drops, the Optimals and the Rejuvenex. And so I got on those. 
Um, so that's what led me to only using these products now since 2013, because we do have clinical studies. We do have quality tests. If you don't know, we, we are made in FDA approved facilities. That is huge guys, because. Go ahead. Chris, I wanted to give one disclaimer as we go through this. Yeah. We make no health claims. We're not curing yes. anything, um, by any stretch of the imagination, but there are if you look at the ingredients and the sourcing and the clinical studies, the medical clinical studies on the ingredients, there's a lot of great information out there when you really start digging in. And you'll see the FDA symbol here. Just know the FDA has no say in nutrition. They don't say yay. They don't say nay. They don't say anything, which is the problem with the nutrition industry. There is no regulation at all. If you don't believe me, go to Google and type in New York Attorney General sues GNC, mm -hmm. Walmart, and Target. Why did they sue them? Because they pulled about 25 different products off their sh nutrition shelves. And when they sent them through the labs, not only did it not have what the label said it had in it, they didn't have anything in the, in, in the box that the label had on it. Like you'll see that, go Google it. So we carry all these third-party verifications that are outside the company. We do all these clinical studies, but the FDA OTC that Kristen just mentioned, that is not on our products. That is on our manufacturing facility Right. for our nutritional product line. So I'll turn it back to you. Correct. Christian. Yeah. So to me, that was just big because that meant my products were not made in a garage. <laughs> that meant they were made somewhere clean. That meant everything I am ingesting is going to be made right along where a pharmaceutical could be made. If it doesn't have um, a USP seal or an FDA approved manufacturing seal, we really don't know what's in our product. And that is, that is fair to say that we don't make medical claims, but we can look for these third party verifications and do our homework to know we are getting a, a quality product. And I was doing that before I found these products. And then this company started doing it for me. So that's the best part about this. It takes a little step out and you don't have to worry about that. They do it for you. They actually pay people to do it. So um, they do their homework for you. You know you're getting what you pay for, okay? And you you know we're not going to be sued for an ingredient being left out. So um, that is why we go a step beyond. So let's kick off with our first signature product um, that many of you are on your journey with, and many of you with 100-pound weight loss stories, getting to your perfect weight, you name it. But, but there's two bottles that come in this, what we call is the slenderized body balance and skinny drops. I would say 30 to 40% of the people that take this product do not take it for weight loss. They take it simply because of the way it makes them feel. So we're going to give you just a little bit of details. And Chris and I are both going to talk about both products. We're going to talk about it from different perspectives. The last decade of my life, I've spent way more time outside the athletic performance world with what I call the older lifestyle issues, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all those kinds of things that lots of times we do to ourselves, self-sabotaging ourselves with our diet, our lack of exercise and movement, our lack of water, all the things we all know we should be doing. So um, I'm going to hit that perspective. She'll hit tied into the athletic performance and we'll both probably cross over a little bit, but just know these bottles right here. Bottle one, 12 different homeopathic ingredients. And you can see there, there are ingredients in there to support thyroid. There are ingredients in there to help your body stabilize appetite. There's a thing called a ghrelin hormone. It's called our hunger hormone. Uh, there are some ingredients in there that kind of suppress that ghrelin hormone and allow you not to be quite as hungry. But the main thing with, with a couple of the ingredients and then our, what we call our low glycemic approved food list, we're going to stabilize blood sugar. And you're going to understand in a minute the importance of that in controlling hunger. But that second bottle has got the good form of B12. It's the methylated form. Go do your research on all the B12 that most people are buying in the stores. Not only is it probably not absorbable, not only is it not good for you, uh, sometimes in some cases it's bad for you because the only other form of B12 is called cyanocolabine. And CYN colabine stands for cyanide. Uh, go do your own research. Don't trust me. It has nothing to do with our company. But cytokalabine is going to constitute about 95% of the cheap stuff you're going to buy at a store. The methylated form is the form you would get. It's called methoxycholabine. It's the form you would get at the doctor's office if you were to go get injections. 
ours is a sublingual absorption. We have a lot of doctors that use this in their practices and track blood work showing that B12 levels stay really stabilized all month long with a sublingual absorption. It's got ashwagandha, uh, great, it's called the Moo Food, great for anxiety. Go Google ashwagandha, see what all it does for you. Uh, also, it's got rhodiola. You're going to understand a minute, a couple of hormones that control your weight loss journey. The rhodiola helps to suppress one of those called cortisol, which is a stress hormone we release. And in 2024, all throughout the world, we have a lot of stress in our lives. So to be able to control that stress hormone is really, really good. Again, we're making no health claims. These are ingredient research claims. Go search the individual ingredients that we utilize within our product. Kristen, go over to you. Yeah, so to me, Slender Eyes, um, well, we like to call them skinny drops here. There's really nothing like this product to me on the planet. Obviously, people are looking for this to lose weight because um, that's kind of how it's been marketed. Whether you're wanting to lose five pounds, 100 pounds, uh, the cool part about it is it really is just a side effect to this product. The whole package to the product is really getting the body reset, really, really getting it balanced, whether it's getting your thyroid at its um, reset point or getting it supported, getting your endocrine system regulated, really getting your hormones working in your favor again. That is what the product is going to do, getting your cortisol levels bounce out. He just said that's the stress hormone. And guys, th to me, this is a tool. And I always like to stress that this is a tool. So people sometimes can get frustrated using the product thinking it's not working fast enough. Um, why am I not losing weight? Sometimes your body has really got a little further to go to reset. I love the fact that he brought the approved food list up because this is also a tool. So if you are in the game to lose weight, you got to eat from this list. This is a low glycemic index list. We got to keep those blood sugars stabilized, right? We got to keep your blood sugar level. Why? Because we don't want insulin surging. Do you know what insulin does? Insulin is going to keep your body from being in fat burning mode. We want to be not in fat storage mode. And if you have insulin high, you are not in fat burning mode. You are in fat storing mode. And I wanted to go back to the cortisol part. Uh, there's a, one ingredient called ashwagandha, and that is in bottle two. Ashwagandha and rhodiola specifically, but I really like to talk about ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is going to help the stress levels come down, okay? And it actually is mood stabilizers. We have ashwagandha, fish oil. Those are two natural um cortisol helpers, okay? But we're specifically talking about ashwagandha because it's in the product. And if we can get cortisol levels naturally coming down, our insulin can actually be helped because what goes hand in hand with cortisol, actually your insulin, even if you don't eat sugar, do you know if your cortisol levels are high, guess what else is gonna be high? Insulin. So you could have high cortisol and your insulin's gonna go up. So you could be doing the best things you can do. You could be eating from that list and you could be having a really great diet. But if your stress is up, you could still have a spike in blood sugar, which to me is why this system is so well-rounded. It is the perfect tool to a lifestyle because it is going to focus on thyroid. It's going to focus on endocrine and it's going to focus on stress. And it's going to play the perfect stack to keeping that insulin down and keep you in that fat burning mode. So again, if you're in it for five pounds, you're in it to lose a hundred pounds, you're in it for the mood, you're in it for the hormones. This is to me the perfect package. So again, I, I actually use it now for the mood because I don't necessarily need to lose a whole lot more weight. We always say women want to lose five more pounds. But if I can keep not myself now in maintenance and I can keep my cortisol levels down, guess what? My insulin's not going to naturally rise just because I'm staying happy. And so, again, that's one reason we like to call them happy drops, too. So that is my uh, take on the drops. If you can just keep all of those things nice and balanced. And sometimes it does take a little longer for certain people. So just like we like to say, don't compare your journey in business. Don't compare your journey here with 
someone who might lose five pounds in one week, yours really might be one pound and it's completely fine. Stay tracking, stay the course, stay on program and work through it. Yeah, these next three slides, I've got to give credit to a really high end nurse in North Carolina named Carrie Hicks, who had been treating medically a lot of the lifestyle issues, high blood sugar, high things like medically, and um, had no idea how much diet uh, affected that. But she found out, she began to teach a class, teaching people to eat correctly, read food labels, use supplementation. And she just saw amazing results to the point that in the neighborhood of 90 doctors now in the area of North Carolina where Carrie Hicks lives, sends their patients into her eight week program to teach them those things. So these next three slides is off of her PowerPoint. I wanna give her credit because she's always talking about the three hormones that are always gonna be problematic, especially in that middle-aged woman, as my wife says, woman in their prime. But, but you all that are in that world, you know the things you're dealing with in your body. So let's talk through a couple of things, but it's not just putting the right things in your body. We gotta stop putting the wrong things in our body. So this is what Carrie says, based upon all of her years of research, that you cannot put in your body if you have thyroid issues, and a lot of you do. One is no soy. I know Kristen's going to hit on that for a multitude of reasons. But mm -hmm. you can also see some things there that we think are really good for us. But you can see there the raw, raw, not cooked, but raw broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage, cauliflower, and kale, because of some things that kick off, also can cause the thyroid a few issues. And then you see on the right-hand side, some really good foods to add to your diet. I love those Brazil nuts. The selenium is well-documented in its ability to keep you healthy. Look it up for yourself in the Brazil nuts. But uh, uh, Kristen, I know you're a big advocate of no soy ever in your life. Yeah, soybeans, um, well, and I, I was really going to hit on it huge when we talked about the protein powders, but I'll definitely go ahead and talk on it now. Soybeans. They uh, mimic estrogen in the system, so they're a no-go for women. They can cause weight gain if you have an abundance of them. Men, you don't want to eat an abundance of soy. It can cause overgrowth of breast tissue in men. So they are 90%, 90, 90 maybe more now, um, of soy we know is genetically modified, which means it's going to be not just one genetically modified, but it's also just genetically modified to withstand high amounts of herbicides and pesticides. So you know when it gets sprayed uh, that you're going to ingest that. So soy to me is just a complete no-go. If it is put in a protein shake, if it's put in protein bars, if it's, it's even in gum. So you actually, you really have to dissect those other ingredients and watch for those fillers because soy is a big filler. So we're gonna, no we're, gonna go, we're gonna go back to hormones, but since you were on the protein shake, um, I know yeah. that you you and I both. I mean, when I was coaching football, I was always recommending either whey or casein. Casein's a little mm -hmm. slower reacting protein at night, but there's a new book out called The China Study with the top researcher ever on cancer saying casein protein is the number one catalyst of cancer growth in the body behind right right in front of sugar. Uh sugar's number two. Uh and then uh, there's also issues with whey because of the way it's made most of the time, not to include the negative ingredients that throw in there. So we'll come back to the hormones, but since you're there on soy, because some people do drink soy shakes, that's the worst thing you could ever do for your body, not to include uh, anything more than if you're a woman, it's going to throw your estrogen levels completely out of whack. But go ahead and go into the pure nourish, if you don't mind, and why you convert it as a crossfitter. I mean, you've got more yeah. muscle than any guy your age. Uh, it's amazing what you've done in a female <laughs> body. It's harder. Uh, Women have a much harder time gaining muscle. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I, I'll take that compliment. Um, so I did convert to Pure Nourish um, when it came out. Um, I, get, I don't know what year it was. I remember it used to just be in peach. That was the one flavor we had. Now we have the natural and we can add the branch change. And so if you didn't know, ours is plant-based. It's peas um, with a little bit of cranberry in it. And it does have all nine essential amino acids. So I want to tell you that when we get asked in the circle of health a lot, is this protein powder okay? Or I get asked that a lot by a lot of you, is this protein powder okay? And I'm looking at it and sometimes it'll say plant-based and y'all are sending me to, y'all are sending me to look at them and they say soy and I'm always like, no. And then y'all send me one and it'll say brown rice. And I'm like, 
mm, I don't really like the brown rice ones. Why? Because it's not a complete protein. So you've got to find a way to make that brown rice one complete. So you've got to add a way to get the other essential amino acids to make it the complete protein. You don't have to do that here because this one is, it's got all non-essential amino acids, which means it's like steak or eggs. It's going to have all nine. Okay. So to me, that's great. I don't have to look anywhere else to make it complete. Um, I love the fact that it's peas because it's highly digestible. It's easy to digest. Sometimes dairy is not. Peas are also very non, a lot of people with allergies. It's very easy for, it's very easy to, to give to people. We don't have to worry about gluten. We don't have to worry about obviously soy, but we don't have to worry about dairy allergies. Peas are very friendly across the board, but obviously there's no soy. So I just said that I don't like soybeans. Why? Because they're GMO. They're altered beans. They're filled with pesticides. So if we're looking to see if it's got soy, if it's maybe just a soy lecithin or soy isolate, why well, I don't like that. And what is a soy isolate? It means the soy has been isolated from the soybean. It's been stripped of all the other nutrients. So I don't like that. I mean, by the way, I don't like soy, but then I really don't like it because they just isolated all the other good stuff from the bean. So you're not even getting the fiber. You're just being left over with the protein. So all the other fiber and other things that were good about it are just pulled away. Um, so it just leaves the protein. Obviously, soybeans are very engineered to withstand the high doses of herbicides. So I think that that is not a good thing either. Um, most of the time, those chemicals are going to have a really um, hard time on women's hormones. So again, a specified, I don't like that. And then again, soy will mimic estrogen. Don't like that. Why I don't like whey. So when we go into the whey proteins, I was a huge whey protein drinker. Um, whether it was a whey concentrate, a whey isolate, um, a lot of people still drink those. Even if it's a grain fed one, um, I still don't drink them because I don't do dairy at all. It makes me swell within a few hours like I am pregnant. But um, let's not even talk about the grain fed ones because most of them on the market are not grain fed cows anyways. Uh, most cow's milk is from cows are typically fed GMO corn, corn, soy, or GMO grains. So what are you getting when you drink that milk you're getting you know part of what they consume too um if you didn't know whey protein whey isolates um that is the byproduct of yogurt and cheese making okay so that's what's left over it's the water after the curds come up and it was just really a clever way of the um engineer saying what could we do with that because there's protein left in that water that that water um, when they make it. So what they do is they dry it. Um, cows, by the way, are injected with what is called a BGH, a bovine growth hormone. Now they do that to make more milk. So they're given, it, it, it's a hormone. So they want those cows to get bigger they want them to produce an unnatural amount of milk. Why? Because, well, it drives their sales up. They can produce more milk. They can get more milk on the shelves. They make more money. What did I just say? They're given a hormone to make more milk. Where does that hormone go? It, it goes into their milk, right? Where does that hormone go? Their milk. Where does the milk go? It goes into their product. Where does the product go? It goes into you. Ugh, I'm sorry. And you wonder why people are getting, people get fat um, or people have hormone problems. You have to really start thinking all of these extra webs and connecting the dots. It's another reason why we tell you no dairy. Okay. It isn't just the fact we don't want you to eat cheese. It's so much more than that. Um, but that is one reason why we say no to dairy. But it's one reason I say no to whey products. Um, besides the fact that I don't like the whole process of the way um, 
manufacturing. I just don't like the way we break down whey proteins because when you actually get to the point of you breaking down the whey, whey protein has actually been broken down so much for you. They actually use that as a great marketing and selling point. We're going to, I think there's some slides on that, but it's very clever. They say, drink your whey protein shake right after you work out. It'll be highly digestible. Your muscles will uptake it faster, quicker recovery, all of that. And it'll, your muscles will grow quicker because you can drink it. It'll digest fast, blah, 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 blah. To me, I think that's a lot of junk because the whey protein is already so broken down. They've broken the, the long chain amino acids. They've broken them down for you into the shorter chain amino acids, into peptides. Your stomach would do that for you, but they just did it for you. I don't want my stomach to do it for me because that's going to burn. I mean, I'm going to burn calories to break down these long chain amino acids, right? So if they're going to be doing that, yes. I got to move yeah. you along. We got 30 minutes left to cover oh. nine products. Okay. <laughs> the reason I know y'all. So I will go. Is because, I will go. <laughs> yeah. The I reason she's so passionate about this is because she has to do this all day, every day for individuals wanting to do yes. something else. So just know yes. that, that that Pure Nourish not only has okay. the best form of protein, but it's got enzymes, yes. probiotics. It's a total meal replacement. And it's yes. low glycemic, which fits our approved food list. So Can I say one more thing? Go ahead. Don't drink a protein shake that has maltodextrin. That's all I got to say. Number one rule always. Number okay. one rule always. Maltodextrin <laughs> is a synthetic sugar that completely disrupts your insulin, which we're about to talk about. So okay. now let's get back to the basics. Um, why are these skinny drops not working? We've all heard it. Well, guys, if somebody comes up with a magic pill, shot, drops, that you have to make no dietary changes and your body loses weight, that person is going to become a quadrillion trillionaire. It does not exist on planet Earth. It would be like saying, if I put this little additive in my truck that is a gas truck, but can I go fill up with diesel and it still run? No, you cannot. Can you put an additive in your truck and make it run better if you put the right gas in? Yes, it'll, out, it'll increase performance, but it's not going to offset and, and, and see, many of us care more about our cars than we do our own body. We would never pull a gas car up and put diesel in it. Nor would we pull a diesel truck up and put regular unleaded in it. We put it what it needs. And in, in life today, the food industry is all about money. They're all about mass production. They are not on your side of health. They are on your side of feeding you, but they are not on your side for longevity and keeping you protected. Everything that you see advertised, everything. If it's being advertised on TV, it's probably bad for you because there's money in it, margins in it, and all kind of junk and fillers in it. The number one thing a person has to get out of their life is any type of liquid sugar or liquid artificial sweeteners. We're gonna go through this real quick. So the science of weight loss, understand paleo, ketogenic, you name it, whole food diet, whole food 30 days. I mean, there's a million different ones out there. By the way, never do a diet that suppresses calorie intake below, I don't know, 1,500 maybe. Everybody's different. But some of these 500-calorie diets for life, just ask any bodybuilder that's done those things. They, they end up really screwed up. Kristen will hit on that. But I want to hit this part of it. So every diet follows the same rules. The ketogenic diet, the person that started that, all he was is a great, great marketing brander. Because every diet that works, or I like to call it lifestyle change that works, because a diet never works because the body's a living organism, and it's going to react to what you do to it today, not yesterday. So there's no end date on a lifestyle change. You must do it all the way, forever. That's because you have to find something you can sustain, that your body loves, that feeds you nutritionally. But every program must follow the same rules. We have three energy systems in our body. One is the sugar in our blood, which the doctors call glucose. When you eat too much simple sugars or carbs without fiber attached, that sugar will then be stored as liver, in your liver muscle as glycogen. That's a good thing. That's your immediate backup energy system when blood sugar depletes. The third storage, when I've eaten way too much, I've eaten three pieces of pie and drink some liquid sugar, my blood's full, my liver's full, my insulin's out of whack. Now that body's, and by, what, by the way, what is insulin? Insulin is the hormone that is released by your pancreas to go deal with that sugar that hit your butt and get it into your liver and muscle. But it is a, listen to this, it is a storage hormone. And if you spike insulin, especially if you're a woman and you spike it in the morning with anything, something in your coffee, 
a bagel, a donut, the chances of you losing weight that day is very, very small, probably zero. Uh, you may not gain it, but once that insulin hormone is hitting your body, it's going to be trying to store all day. And what it's going to store when those are full, it's going to start storing it as a fat cell. Your, your body does not look at your fat as fat. Your body looks as fat as a stored energy source. But here's the issue. When it starts to burn energy, it will never get it out of order under any circumstance. So the, when you get up and walk to the door, it's going to use the sugar in your blood. When you do enough movement that that begins to deplete, it's going to immediately kick in a second energy source. That's the sugar stored in your liver and muscle, liver and muscle called the glycogen. When those begin to get somewhat depleted, and it depends on person to person, some people are what's called very fat adapted. They can immediately start burning fat for energy. But 70% of this country is what's called metabolic syndrome. That means they are not fat adapted. Their body fights them. It never wants to burn fat for energy. That's the reason some of you get on the product and you're like, I'm not losing weight yet because your body's not fat adapted. You're all screwed up on the inside. Your metabolic uh, health is completely off. It's going to take us a minute, but to reset that for you, sometimes it's a couple of weeks, sometimes it's a month. And sometimes if you keep cheating, it's never because that's got to reset. we got to get that, that pancreas and insulin secretion stabilized out. And, uh, and then we start burning that fat for energy. So Kristen, fire away on that. And then we're going to go into um, the vicious sugar addiction that we're all in. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, I, I just want to reemphasize the don't compare part because your journey could be different than the next, per next person's journey. When people start the drops, they could take off on it in the first week, but it might take someone else two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, because you really don't know what the other person's body is doing, what they're battling. They could have PCOS. They could be insulin resistant. They could have hormone issues. So don't, you stay your course and you work about getting, you work about getting your body back in balance. You follow the list, you take your drops right, and then let the program work and let your body do what it needs to do to get it reset. And and it will work if you just stay coarse and you eat from that, that approved foods list and let your body start working its healing. And those foods really, that's why the food list is designed that way. They're whole foods, they're natural foods and let the products work for themselves. That's really all I can add into that part. Yeah, it, and many people don't understand that sugar clinically by neurologists is proven to be more addictive to your brain and your body than cocaine is. There is a neurologist that wrote a book called Bright Line Eating, and she calls it a bright line. And here's how she explains it. If you were a cocaine addict and you decided you wanted to quit and you said, can I just have cocaine on Saturday? What would we tell you? Heck no, you can't have cocaine on Saturday. You'll relapse. Okay, fine. Can I just have it once a month? No, if you have it once a month, you're going to relapse. So for those of you that really want Good health, great sleep, not age too fast because sugar is the number one aging process right behind lack of water intake. Those are the two things that completely reverse your aging speed and raising your HGH, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, but here's the deal. When you eat sugar, insulin is released. For the 70% of the country that is metabolically unhealthy, too much insulin is released. Mm -hmm. And it pulls that sugar below baseline. And when sugar goes below baseline, <laughs> That's what creates your vices, the Mountain Dew, the red wine, the Snickers bar, whatever your go-to is, the donut, whatever it is. Because once it goes below baseline, you have no control anymore. Drops, no drops, the drops will help. But once it's below baseline, like you're dying because your body is not fat adapted. It's out of glucose, it's out of glycogen, and it can't figure out how to burn a fat cell. So it's screaming at you to give it some sugar to get back into blood, liver, and muscle. That is your sugar addiction that most people can never break. Where does it come from? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Gatorade is worse than Coca-Cola. Okay, There is very few things you can drink outside of water, unsweet tea, and unsweet green tea. There is a soft drink out there called Zevia. Uh, Carrie Hicks found it years ago. It is sweetened with stevia. I wouldn't drink too much of it, but if you got to have some soda, that's the only one I know that's approved. But, but liquid sugar is the worst on your pancreas, your metabolic syndrome, your insulin insensitivity. It'll throw you completely out of whack. Sweet tea is a killer, probably worse than Coca-Cola. Equally as bad, and people don't realize that. And 
don't think you can switch over to the artificial sweeteners because the artificial sweeteners tell the pancreas the same thing. Blood sugar spike, insulin still releases, but they're way worse because just use the main one that everybody uses and that's the aspartame. It's a neurotoxin, it's deadly. And people wonder why our cancer rates and our autoimmune diseases and all these things are rising so rapidly. It's because we're putting diesel in our gasoline engine and we're doing it all day, every day, thinking it's normal because everybody else is doing it. Kristen. Yeah, um, I personally think um, aspartame and um, Slenda and um, if you don't know the other one, it is aspartate potassium. That is one people don't know to look for, but it's called aspartate potassium. I think that those are probably, I, I know we, we talk sugar and it is absolutely awful, um, but I think that artificial sugars may be a notch above the grotesque for me um, because of the um, things they do to your bones, the, your brain. I, Artificial sweeteners are horrible. So please look for those. They are bad for you um, on all levels. Get rid of them. We don't have <laughs> any time for this today, but I would just tell you for all the moms out there, you are all trying to protect your families. You're trying to stay ahead of it. But trust me, there are $500,000 a year people hired at these food companies to stay ahead of you. They manipulate you to death. You can never, ever, ever, never read the front of a box or a bag. Uh, it will always lie to you. It'll say hard healthy. It'll say mm -hmm. low fat. It'll say no sugar. And you flip it over and where there's simple carbs or whatever. I mean, Chris and I do this all day for people because they think they're eating healthy and they're absolutely sabotaging their pancreas. Things like Naked. You can see that drink yes. there. That is sold at every grocery store now as a health, nutritious drink. It has 60 grams of sugar. If you don't have type 2 diabetes yet, start drinking that health drink right there and you'll have it pretty soon. Um, so you've got to be really, really careful. Sugar is sugar. Never forget that. A banana is equal to a Snickers bar when it comes to sugar, not from a health standpoint. But if we're trying to lose weight, we're trying to get metabolically healthy, you cannot be putting bananas in your smoothie and expect to, to win your journey, not in the beginning. Yes. Again, health food products sold to you. As health food products, look at the sugar content. I mean, who would eat a granola bar over a Snickers bar on purpose? Only the people that are trying to be healthy. And it's only about half better, meaning it's still got 12 grams of simple sugar in it without the fiber attached. Lots, there is no such thing as a healthy cereal. Maybe there's a couple of paleo, I mean, um, keto cereals out there, but I don't know about the ingredients, but I know there are a few out there that won't spike insulin. Uh, and that insulin is is what we must control. One in three Americans are pre-diabetic. Type 2 diabetes is both preventable and reversible, not because of our products, but dietary changes. We, wear, we have all kinds of people in here that were self-glucose monitors. Matter of fact, I've got one that just shared this with me two days ago. Her name is Andrea Grady. She's actually a type one. Type ones, we cannot really help. We can't not really, we can't help them at all. Their pancreas is dead. It's not fixable. So they have to take insulin. But she wears the self glucose monitor. She went to a Mexican restaurant. She's eating perfect. She had nine chips, nine, nine chips. Her insulin spiked by 100 points. It went from 100 to 200 on nine chips. And somebody, you know, who can just get away with eating nine chips? Nobody can. So if you ever start down that rabbit hole, you're probably eating 19 or 90 chips. So just always understand it doesn't take much to really sabotage this insulin issue that so many of us. Are, are struggling with and high blood sugar. Once you become metabolic syndrome for a few years, pre-diabetic and then eventually two di diabetic, all cause mortality, go research it, is going to increase exponentially. Many doctors say anywhere between 10 and 25 times more likely to have a cardiovascular event if you've had elevated blood sugar for several years. That would be heart attack, aneurysm, anything along those lines. You're 10 times more likely to develop cancer. Go, go do your research. This is not Todd information. This is not Christian information. And this for sure has nothing to do with our company. That is out there in the public. If you go find the right doctors to follow that are in the front leading edge of the research, I'll tell you a couple of them. One is the leading researcher in the world currently on longevity at Harvard. David Sinclair is his name. He's been at Harvard. He's been, a matter of fact, a lot of them think he is the best. But go follow him. See what he says about blood sugar in your body on a long life and longevity and, and, and helping prevent catastrophic events from a health standpoint. So important to get it under control. 
don't trust the food industry. They all, every one of these are just to trick you. The only thing, Chris and I both tell everybody the same thing. Don't tell us what it is. You don't even have to take a picture of what it is. All we want to see is the ingredient list. And we can quickly point out if there's simple sugars or simple carbs without fiber attached, which that's fiber, a gram of fiber will erase a gram of a simple carb. So there are some things that have higher carbs, but it's got higher fiber. So it'll still fit that low glycemic food index and not necessarily spike insulin. Um, by the way, if you don't know what the low glycemic food index is, Google it. Uh, it's where our proof food list follows that. It's a type two diabetic diet. It should be everybody's diet or, or lifestyle change. Back to you, Kristen. And by the way, last thing I'll say. Yes. Kristen is an exception. That girl works out more than anybody I know on planet Earth. Um, she's a trainer and she actually does the workout with probably half the day with her clients. So she can maybe outrun the fork. But if you've ever got to know the bodybuilding world, they have a couple of phases throughout the year. One is called the bulking phase. That is when they're trying to grow muscle, grow their bodies, get it bigger. Then they have the cutting phase. That's when they're getting ready for competition. Guys, the, here's what people don't understand. The cutting phase has nothing to do with increasing workout. Yeah, some of them will slightly increase cardio. However, it's, Kristen will tell you it is all about what you consume. If you want to get ripped up, you've got to get on the slow glycemic food index. They, they, get, they generally get a much narrower range than we do. Just a, a lot of them, just a few foods in their diet. Um, lean meat, green things, quinoa, things along those lines. So Kristen, back to you, and then we'll move into the other products. Yeah, um, the, the, the slide right before this one, could we look at it real fast again? Um, when people send me, is this okay? Is this okay? I'm going to be honest. If I start seeing um, ingredients and if I have to look at too many ingredients, I already know it's not okay. Um, I shouldn't have to look at that many ingredients because you shouldn't be eating foods that have a baboo ingredients. That means it's probably not um, spoiling. It means somewhere there's going to be preservatives. There's going to be additives. You should be eating foods that spoil people. You should eat foods that expire. And if it has a lot of labels, if it has things that say fat-free, sugar-free, no this, no that, no this, it means there's additives. It means it's been processed. It means things have been pulled and manipulated and it's probably not healthy for you anyways. It's been fortified with some sort of synthetic vitamin. And if I have to see and look through all of that, it's probably not good for you. You should eat things that rot. You should eat things that, you know, go bad. So, you know, I'll, my golden rule is I eat 80% of my foods that if it sits on my counter in seven days, it should have a bug on it or it's got a brown spot. And if it doesn't, it's probably not good for me. So that is golden rule one. Then you should look at your ingredient list. And if it's got more than five ingredients, it's probably not good for you. So start looking there. And then we start going into the other ingredients. But you'll learn those other ingredients to look for. If it says sugar-free, fat-free, none of this, none of that, you already know it's been manipulated and put it back. Just put it back. So that's my tip on that. One of the things, the branded diet called the ketogenic diet, it's a branded diet. Everybody, ketosis is what's called, what it's called when you switch over from burning glucose to fat for energy. You kick off ketones. Ketones are a great energy source. The brain loves them. You'll get great clarity when you're burning a lot of ketones for energy. It's really, really good stuff. But um, one of the things the ketogenic diet really helped bring to the forefront is the importance. The food industry, again, wrong. We want healthy fats in our diet. We want them desperately in our diet. And they're like reading something that says no fat is not necessarily good. There is bad saturated six oils, seed oils, that people consider fat that they're very detrimental. It'll kill the cell membrane. That's the number one thing you want to get out of your diet besides sugar, liquid sugar and some other things. But those saturated oils will really, really screw up your body from a metabolic standpoint. But, but um, going back to this, avocados, green olives, macadamia nuts, Google it, uh, salmon, get those good healthy fats, those good omega-3s. A lot of times a, a uh, somebody with lots of inflammation in their body has a really big time omega-6 and omega-3 imbalance. The omega-6 are the bad oils at the fast food restaurants, at all the restaurants basically. And that's what we consume most of the time. Very few of us eat 
the fatty fishes like salmon and other things that give us the good omega threes. That's really, it's really important to supplement with an omega three, which we're going to cover in just a minute. So, Kristen, we're, we don't have much time left. So we're going to have to go through this quickly. Of course. But, but so we we've talked about the drops, adding the low glycemic meal replacement shake if you so choose to make life a little easier. Put some berries, some almond milk, thirty calorie almond milk, coconut milk, thirty calorie or less, no sugar added. But the, one of the next things that we like to add in is a detox. So over to you on Restorex. Yeah, so if you're feeling like you're hitting a plateau, sometimes the Restorex is a good place to just to throw in. Um, this is going to help detox liver, fat cells. You store toxins almost anywhere, big organs. This can help pull some heavy metals out of your system or just toxins. Um and you do this morning or evening, and it is going to just get um, some of those toxins out. You want to drink a lot of water with it. Um, and it's one of the best ways to pull um, pull toxins out. You can break a plateau with this. And you want to obviously drink a lot of water. It's got zeolite, chlorella, um, activated charcoal in it. And um don't want to mix it with anything metal plastic and uh to me this is one of the best ways to break a plateau um i got asked this the other night how how often do you do this Kristen? i'll be honest i don't have to i don't have to do this as much i do feel like once you actually start getting into your maintenance phase you could do this less when you get your body fat lower less you store toxins in your fat cells so once you get into a a better phase and you then just say i just want to hit um some a good detox, you could do this less, but when you feel like you are hitting plateaus, you can absolutely start throwing this in and you will start flushing toxins out. So I do love Restorex. So a lot of people don't know this, but, but the only place the body can store a known toxin to the body is a fat cell. It cannot be in the bloodstream. It's detrimental to your health. Right. So it'll, the liver will push it into initially um, the fat on the liver. By the way, I was talking to a doctor in North Alabama this week that's joined our company using our products in his uh, practice now, but he was sharing with me, and I don't have the facts to back this up. I'm just going to tell you what he said, but he said that fatty liver disease now, that it's like 70% now more because of sugar than it is alcohol, like the, having a liver problem, cirrhosis, those things are all now coming from that fatty liver disease. Um, because our, and By the way, that's when those men start getting those big stomachs. So what happens a lot of times is we start losing weight. The, the toxins have to be dealt with. They get in the blood. It goes right back to the liver. The liver is your detoxifier, if you don't know that. That's where you've got to drink a, a 32 ounce of water and preferably some lemon or maybe some baking soda, got the dash of baking soda, some lime. Do, do Got to flush in the morning before you do anything. Give your body some help. Like rinse that liver out. Don't just throw coffee right back on a liver that's been detoxing your body all night. But if you're not getting these toxins out of your body by drinking a lot of water, half your body weight in house, minimum the only way you release toxins is through sweating pores through deep breathing you got to breathe it out or through urination or excretion so most women especially don't do any of those things enough especially sweat most women do not go to the restroom as regular as men do but you got to work on it and this restorex helps that what that so all those ingredients are important but the main ingredient in it if we have a patent on it over here it comes from the country of austria you can get zeolite anywhere in the mountains uh, but it, the ours comes from the country of Austria, and this zeolite has about 40 published papers on it. it what it does is it goes and pulls those charges out of your body. Um, the, the heavy metals we got from water, the old, all prescription medication is viewed as a toxin in the body. If you don't know that, do your own research. So if you've been on a lot of medication, it's different things, you got to go get that stuff pulled out of your body. It's the first thing I ask a woman this plateau, what prescription medication is your own, how long you've been on it. You've been on prednisone, a lot of those things that really got the body really screwed up on a weight loss journey. So we got to get it out of there once we start. You, uh, and then um, while we're on it, the water part of it, especially if you're doing a detox, I, we can never overemphasize enough how important water is. Water is a catalyst, what's called the ATP process, the adenosine triphosphate process of you creating energy, burning fat. So that water is so necessary for weight loss. It is also 70% of your body is 75% of the world. You take a plant, a flower, a piece of grass, and give it no sunlight and no water, it's going to die on you in a week. Why would your body be, your body needs the same. You need that good D3, at least 10, 15 minutes of sunlight on your skin. I don't care how fair complete you are. I'm not saying go out there and do sunbathe. Get some sunlight. Get that clean, filtered water into your body. 
and we encourage you to filter it. There's a million different ways to filter it. It's uh, really good to do so. So anything you want to add there on water? Yeah, well, especially if you are doing a detox, you must drink plenty of water because if you don't, people will report, I feel bloated. I feel like I'm swelling. You must you you must utilize the water to do the flush. Otherwise, you are going to feel puffy. Your blood, sh your bl if the toxins get into your bloodstream, your body is going to naturally going to try to dilute because it, it's going to say this shouldn't be here. So you want to make sure you put enough water in to get it out. So water, water, water. So a lot of people in their journey need a little extra energy. We have a couple of choices. Um, our Blue Frog energy drink, people will hate me for saying this, but if you're trying to lose weight, it's got too much sugar. You cannot have that. Not, not a woman that has metabolic syndrome or a man. It will screw you up. Too much sugar, no fiber. The burn is okay as long as you don't eat with it. If you use it as a total meal replacement, it's okay. This one for weight loss only is the cleanest one. Burn it. I love burn. I'll use burn a lot for a meal replacement. I know it's the number one seller in your gym, uh, Kristen. Um, it's got an uh, uh, energy blend. It's got 20 grams mm -hmm. of collagen protein, it, but it needs to be used as a meal replacement, not be drinking it as you're sitting there eating some carbs and a sandwich at lunch because now right. that you're getting too much and, and issues. So it's a meal replacement. This can be done with whatever you want to eat, um, but it's, uh, this particular energy is 10 different uh, real ingredients, like these are real things, flowers, plant leaves. It's got green, cold-pressed green coffee bean extract. For an energy source, you don't have to have energy. Like nobody necessarily has to take caffeine. But for an energy source, if you'll do your research, cold-pressed cold pressed green coffee bean is the cleanest, best we can do to kind of spike a little bit of energy in the body. But the neat thing about Rejuvenex is it's got chamomile, uh, and it's got... um. Oh, gosh, what's the other one? Chamomile and uh, L-theanine. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Both of those are calming agents. So a lot of energy drinks we drink, like we're boom up for an hour and a half, and then it's like this major crash. Rejuvenex is 100, 120 milligrams of green coffee bean extract, the equivalent of one cup of coffee, and it's got these calming agents a part of it. So we have great anecdotal stories with people that don't focus well, ADD-type minds that get really focused on it. But we all just kind of feel this bit of elevated energy. You don't really know when it ends. It's like four, five, six hours. And again, if you love the burn, do the burn. If you love this, do this. Now, I'm not comparing one over the other. I'm just telling you the difference between the two. This one comes with no sugar spike, no e extra calories. Um, you find, I do both. Like I'll do four rejuvenex one day. And the next day I might do a burn that afternoon. So I kind of go on back and forth with them. Go ahead, uh, Kristen. Um, yeah, I pop four of these. Every morning within five minutes of being awake, I might even admit that I drink a burn at the same time. Um, I really like caffeine. It's kind of a bad thing. Um, I love Rejuvenex. I I cannot go. It focus. It's my focus. So, and there's no jitter, no crash, no heart rate, uh, no sweaty palm, no crash. I mean, the no crash is so key for me. So, uh, Rejuvenex all the way. And it's safe for... It, I mean, I don't know if we put that out there, but I do have um, a little cousin who's 12. That is what he uses instead of Adderall medicine because it helps him focus. So it is great for focus. Yeah. And, and uh, again, if you're going into the gym, you're looking for that rush of energy, you're going to do burn. That's, that's a much stronger energy. If you're if that kind of stuff bothers you, uh, then Rejuvenex is your product. So just kind of understand the differences there and you'll kind of find your journey there. The next thing we'll cover. You've got to have good, good health. If anybody out there has been on an antibiotic of any kind in the last couple of years and you haven't reset your gut health, it's going to be mandatory you do that. Antibiotics have no discretion. They kill both good and bad gut bacteria. So your good gut bacteria, a lot of people don't understand this, is hyper important for immune system and for weight loss. We had a guy named Dr. Pena. He is a gastrologist in the uh, Mexico City, one of the tops in the world. He developed this probiotic in his practice and was using it in addition to his normal practice for a lot of the digestive issues he has to deal with, with tremendous results. Anecdotally out here, we've had a lot of the same results, but this probiotic is $38. It's very inexpensive on the wholesale discount. That's a little bit more expensive. I think it's more like 50 or 60 retail, but um, you cannot, uh, it is literally, I, and I'm not the best probiotic explanation, but when you start digging into the guaranteed CFUs and different things that probiotics do, ours always wins if you if you know how to do a real comparison. Kristen? 
Um, I this so when people ask what is probably one of my best sellers in the gym, y'all know I train a lot of women as well. Uh, this is in the top three. Uh, women have a lot of bloating issues. There's a lot of stomach issues. I sell out. Uh, I probably sell forty probiotics a month in the gym because women do not want to run out of this. Um, this is a fifteen strain probiotic. Most probiotics on the market are somewhere around seven. And um, this is going to cover all the different type of organisms that you can get. We have, it's 20 billion organisms per pill. And what I love about this probiotic is that it is a slow release. So most probiotics on the market will digest in the stomach. We don't want that because what happens your stomach acids are going to kill the majority of the organisms. This one is going to digest in our intestines. That's where we want the good bacteria, the good flora to be. That's where we want the biome to be healthy. So that is where the organisms will actually go and flourish. And that's why, to me, this one has been the most beneficial probiotic I've ever taken and gotten the best results from. And all the women will say that because... The, pro, the actual organisms and the bacteria get and flourish where they're supposed to go and they don't digest in the stomach. The probiotic gummies are trash and that is why they don't work. This one works. Yeah, and by the way, a lot of these screenshots are coming straight from your back office. If you go to your shopping cart and you, for example, put the probiotic, you click on the probiotic, click on the actual picture, just below the picture, there'll be like four little key points. One will say like key ingredients. You'll click on them. That, that's where I've, I just screenshotted there and pulled over here. Okay, now our vitamin and mineral. There's a lot of doctors that I've worked with that don't want a woman to do the skinny drops without the vitamin and mineral attached to it because they're so cellularly malnutrished. You may be eating a ton. You may be 100 pounds overweight, but you're eating McDonald's. You're eating this. I was just doing a, a Zoom yesterday for a lady that, that uh, is a truck driver. She was plateaued, and I was getting what she ate. Well, she's eating McDonald's, and she, but she picked, she took the bun off the hamburger i said if you ever google what a mcdonald's hamburger is made of i said if you, if you don't want to throw up don't do it but if you want to lose weight go google go google popeye's fried chicken what are the ingredients go google um even it's sad to say because chick-fil-a is my favorite if i'm gonna drive through mm -hmm. healthy that's the one but don't google what their chicken nuggets are made of unless you want to be like why why are you doing this to us it's scary what these, and they, I guess they have to do it to make it last. I don't know. I'm not condemning them. I'm just trying to help us all be healthy and live a long life and, and, and lose weight. But our vitamin and mineral is one of the absolute tops in the world. They're perfectly formulated together. They are the vitamin ratio and the mineral ratio are an exact science. And it's very important because when chemical reactions occur at the cellular level in that mitochondria, when it's producing injury, when it's redoing everything, it needs those ingredients. That's the, that's the body's building blocks. We get it with raw vegetables. We get it like we cook a lot out if we cook it. I'm saying raw, raw vegetables, raw fruits uh, with fiber. Eat the fibrous fruits. Don't, don't drink the juices because that'll spike insulin. It's like uh, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people there's lots of conflict information. There's really not. If a person's smart enough to actually put it all together, are fruits good for you? Yes. Are fruits bad for you? Yes. Uh, you got to have the fiber. If you drink fruit juice, you're spiking insulin. Also, the, although the juice could have a lot of vitamins and minerals you need. So eat the fruit with your fiber in it. Uh, if you're going to do a juicer, which I do a lot, you got to juice the things that don't have the sugar in it. That would be um, the greener things, the celery, the cucumbers, things along those lines. But really, really good for you on that juice is because it's not going to spike insulin. But our vitamin and mineral helps to supplement someone that's not taking the time to get that in there. And, and um, they're so good and there's so much clinical research behind them that they're actually in your physician desk reference at your doctor's office when you go. Kristen? Yeah, so if y'all didn't know that these are clinical doses, these are not just your um, recommended daily allowance uh, doses. So to me, I think that that is important. You would think that maybe I wouldn't use these because I use MOA and I use Noni and I do all the other stacks, but this is still a part of my regimen every night because it was one of the first uh, products I started using back in 2013. So I still, this is still a staple to me. And I love the fact that these are what we call clinical doses and not RDAs because RDAs are just your standard amounts to not, uh, to, to for a disease not to happen. So 
for scurvy not to happen, for rickets not to set in. But we want clinical doses. We want our cells to actually thrive. And that's what these amounts will do. We want a huge health benefit. We want cellular nutrition. We want delivery. We want our cells to work max. And that's what these two um, products will actually give you. Cellular doses, strong doses of ingredients. And again, he already said it. They're perfect formulations of exact amounts that would work cohesively together. Yeah, it, just so you'll know, if you read the directions, it's three vitamins and two minerals in the morning, preferably mm -hmm. with food or a shake. And it's three vitamins and two minerals in the evening. But I will tell you, a lot of our products, you can do a lot of, like you can, what we call clinical dose. You can drink all the moa you want. You can drink all the noni you want. You can pretty much, yeah. you, can do, you can do the vitamins. But the one thing you must be careful with are the minerals. You cannot overdo some of those yeah. minerals. They can become toxic in the body. Um, so yeah, I'm okay with a woman, especially only doing two a day on the mineral side. I always should yeah. have run out of that before you do it. But uh, anything you want to say there, Kristen? Yeah, that's actually what I do. I do the mineral just two a day in the evening. And I do, I always say I do these with food. Some, some things I don't actually do with food. It doesn't matter. But for absorption purposes, I always take these with a meal. Okay. Next product, we're not going to go into this at all because most of us all know this, one, <laughs> but this page here breaks down what some of the superfoods in MOA do. Um, so you can see everything from anti-aging uh, to immune support. And these are all, by the way, if it's in these categories, that means there is published clinical medical studies, third party, nothing to do with our company, not on MOA. Don't get me wrong. They're not clinical studying MOA. The studies are on the ingredients that we have sourced from the same areas that the studies were done from, put in a cold press form, 36 different ingredients in this MOA. So there's probably, if you're really trying to get a cellular nutrition beyond belief, the vitamin, mineral, and a MOA, that combination really fills in a lot of gaps on a bad diet. Yes. Noni. We were just in Tahiti. I was blown. We stayed for three weeks this time where our Noni comes from. So this time around, I was the second trip there. I was better grounded. I was prepared. So everybody that lived there that I encountered, not just in Tahiti, but in Marea Marea, in Bora Bora, on every island we went to, this Noni grows throughout those French Polynesian, Polynesian islands there. It's the best Noni in the world because of the volcanic ash that it's that on those islands is so much better than even the Hawaiian Noni is. Do your own research. There's lots of published studies on it. But Noni for the Tahitian French Polynesian people is their what they call Eastern medicine. We're Western medicine. We treat the problem. Eastern medicine tries to fix the problem with a nutritional product. So for Noni, they would all tell me the same thing in their very broken English. Noni good for the head, no need good for the heart, no need good for the blood, no need good for the immune system, no need good if you have hurt yourself, scrapes, broken bones, things like that. No need is just good for everything, bloating, digestion. But I will tell you, in my opinion, MOA is number one that we have for inflammation in the body. Rheumatoid arthritis, things that are really inflamed, we're not going to cure them. Any stress imagination, no health claim here. But when you bring inflammation down, you feel better. Noni's number one superpower is healing. Like if you've had surgery, you have issues going on, like Noni has tremendous healing powers. I know my body really craves it. We're not saying you've got to take every product we're going through today, although Kristen and I do. We have a, we, we do. It's, it's quite expensive too. Um, but, um, but find what your needs are in your body and kind of match up with the information you're getting today, either watching this or rewatching the Zoom. Uh, Kristen, why do you want to add their own Noni and or MOA? Well, actually, you took mine. I was going to say I just started doing Noni regularly every morning, one pouch a morning. But my takeaway from Noni is the healing. Um, I used it post-surgery a couple years ago. And I always tell people if you're coming off surgery or if you need to speed up healing of any sort, gout, um, anything like that, where you're just like, I got to tackle this head on for something, you drink the mess out of some noni and you'll be amazed so moa is my go-to like you said it's like my favorite but when i know i need to tackle something big i'm going to noni yeah so there was a there is two clinical studies again not on our product 
The studies are on the Tahitian noni fruit plant. Um, the two studies, you can find them out there. Matter of fact, one is circulating that just got released a week ago. If you don't have it, we'll get it out there. Uh, Anthony, I don't know if you have it or not. We could maybe put it in the chat box. But the new study that came out week before last was that there are lots of studies now indicating that noni suppresses the ghrelin hormone. That's the hunger hormone. We're wanting to suppress and not make us so hungry all the time. The other studies that have been coming out for years on noni is it's a really good blood sugar stabilizer. Now, it's not going to overcome a 50-gram Gatorade of sugar you just drank. But if you're trying to do well, it's a great addition to helping stabilize blood sugar. So the Skinny Drops and the Noni are a great combination. Really, really good product. Next. Uh-oh. I think I actually have that coming up again. Next. I know we're about to have a new flavor launch on this in June. So I think we're one month away from the flavor everybody's going to love. But, Kristen, I'll never forget. You're 40 years old now. I've, I've known you since you were 17 through your dad. I've watched you grow up. I've watched you go uh, in that gym and pack on, you know, two, three, four pounds of muscle every year. Be consistent. Be, I always say anybody can do anything for a day or two, a month or two. Anybody can go work out for a year. But who's going to do it for a lifetime and create a – Kristen has. Like, like she's created a lifestyle for a lifetime. But I'll never forget this. You sit – and I could not find it this morning or to put it on here. I've got one of you. Let me go here and show it first, and we'll come back to how that works. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see her abs there. But, but she sent me one way, way better, and she said, Todd, I can't believe it, but I've got the best abs at 39 years old than I've ever had. The only thing I can tie it to is the Renew. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it to you to explain the whole HGH scenario. Yes, and I'm going to, for the record, say I'm still 39. I'm holding on to it. I'll be 40 in February. He always gives me an extra year every year, but that's okay. <laughs> I am getting, I am getting there. I feel like you probably should round up. Um, I did. I've been on Renew now since October of 2021, and I have. All I did was add some Renew in, and if you really start looking at what HGH does in the body and how it utilizes glucose and fatty acids and helps your body convert them to energy and i always tell people this really truly is a builder product and i really i know if people were to get on this and just be patient with it i used it initially because the sleep helped me i was a terrible sleeper it helped me sleep and i knew if i could just sleep better my performance in the gym would just improve just because I slept and my cortisol would go down and everything like that. Cause I knew just sleep help with cortisol. But if you really stay on this product and you let that HGH just slowly, slowly level up and level up and build and build and you're patient with the product, few patient, patient, you have to be disciplined and be patient with it. I promise it will work. My, I did get abs. I didn't do anything different, but train the way I've always trained. And people started saying, Kristen, what are you doing to get your abs to pop? And I was like, I don't know. I'm still, and Todd always gets on me for saying this. I was like, I'm still kind of eating the way I've always eaten, which sometimes is donuts and which sometimes is this because he says I can outrun a fork. And I just started losing weight. And I started shredding and I started doing nothing but drink and renew every night. And then I want you to know my skin changed after about nine months. Those little dark spots that I had sun damage from on my face from having too many sunburns in my teenage years, they went away. I didn't do anything different. I didn't have skin treatments. I had little blonde hair sprigging. I thought they were gray. I had my mom really dissect me. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting gray hair. And she was like, I think they're blonde, Kristen. And I was like, you're kidding me. And we know we hear stories about the dark hairs coming in. It's a builder product. But if you look at what HGH does, it helps your teeth be stronger. It helps your teeth whiter. It helps the enamel on your teeth grow back. So it is true, HGH is linked to everything cellular we do. It does make you stronger. It makes your muscles denser. It makes your hair thicker. It makes your nails stronger. It does make you run faster. It makes you have more endurance. It does so, make you sleep better. 
I know, I'll keep so going. You guys medical, stop me. <laughs> in the medical world, it is called the longevity hormone. Mm-hmm. You're generally going to live a, like, if you see that 85 year old that doesn't look 85, they've got good skin, they're still mobile, they have good HGH levels. It's all, it, there's a direct correlation there. You see somebody that's 55, they've been eating sugar all their life, they're a type 2 diabetic, they, they have no flexibility in their body, they have no good muscular uh, uh, anything, it's just all fat, they have very low HGH levels. We sabotage our HGH, and we have a natural mm-hmm. decline in production anyway with HGH. This is the chart of the natural decline. But you can absolutely slow it down and or speed it up. So just the natural decline with the average person, by the time you become 65 years old, you'll be aging 125 times faster than you did as a 12-year-old. Um, it's just the yes. nature of life. That's how we age out. And, and we all will die one day. We can't prevent it forever. We're not always. But you'll notice in the movie star, especially country music industry, I know a lot of people in that industry from different ways. And then a lot of them, I would say the majority of them take the HGH injection shots. The only problem with that is, does it work? Yes. They all look younger. They all, we all want to look like them. But the problem with it is once you start that, it's one, it's hyper expensive, thousands per month. But number two, you can't stop. Because anytime you put the synthetic hormone in your body like that, it's going to shut off your own body's production completely. And to get that ramp back up is very, very difficult. So I always advise against it. I would people do with their own body what they want to. So we are a, we don't put anything in the body. We are not an HGH. We have four different pathways that help the body naturally increase its own production of HGH. One of them we have a patent pending on, and that's by inhibiting an enzyme called DPP4. It's an inhibitor of growth hormone production in the pituitary gland. Those studies should be being released pretty soon, and we've gotten some initial results showing that we're inhibiting that um, uh, DPP4 hormone or, or enzyme by about 90%. It's got some amino blends, some vitamin mineral blends. You can probably find those in other places. We have no proteratory um, uh, uh, patents on that. But I'll tell you, the other one that's really important in our formulation is we have a blend that promotes a deeper sleep. I will tell you, there's about a 10 to 15% anomaly of people that will not get better sleep. They'll actually not get as good of sleep because it does have a wee, wee, wee bit of niacin as a form of vitamin B. And for some people, they're hypersensitive to niacin. It'll kind of give them a flush and they will not sleep as well. If you're that person, switch it to morning. But if you're not that person, the rest of us are going to sleep way, way better. I will tell you, in my bigger body, it took poo to really kick in on the sleep and everything for all of our bodies. And especially those with very low HGH levels. This is not fast acting. Uh, Kristen kept saying it. You got to give it time. If you do an injection, it's fast. You put in HGH in your body. When you're trying to get your own body to make it, listen, it may be 90 days to six months to really ramp up that production back to a level that starts making a significant difference in your life. So it is a product. My wife, uh, her favorite product is the probiotic and the Magnacal D. But the product that made the biggest difference in her body composition wasn't the drops. She got to about 135. She's only 5'3", which I always thought was her ideal weight. But when she started on the HGH about three months in, Every week, she would keep telling me, Todd, I've lost another couple of pounds. Nothing changed. She doesn't eat near as clean as a diet as I do. Um, she eats small portions. She doesn't eat at night, but her diet is not as clean as mine. And every week, she's losing more weight than I am. The only thing we could tie it to was the HGH. And then we started researching because she's had some hormonal issues. She had to have a hysterectomy. We were reading books already on helping those hormonal things rebalance out. But all of a sudden, there it was in one of her books. Higher HGH levels optimize all the other hormones of the body, the estrogen, the progesterone, the testosterone. So it's all in correlation. So not only did she start losing weight, she now weighs 115 pounds, uh, not on purpose. It just happened when her body composition, the HGH levels, but it was about month four for her when those things began to happen. So give it a little time. uh, And then I just want to encourage you when you get older, you don't have to be old. Just be older. Um, Okay. Last couple of products. Benali is the number one selling product in China. It's good for a million reasons. It is in the physician desk reference. It is a grape seed, uh, vitamin C extract. The grape seed that we use come from vineyards in Italy where the antioxidants that are in it are just so far above anywhere we else we could get it. That same vineyard text for 600 pesticides. Again, we're very, very clean. 
Those are the reasons that products are in the position desk preference. Really good for anything pulmonary, um, uh, like asthma. It really it aids in the lungs. It aids in helping to prevent allergies, not total prevention. This is not a medical claim. Just do your own research on quality vitamin C and grapeseed extract, not our particular product. It's got the bioflavonoids, a lot of things that are really important, the phytonutrients that our body desperately needs that are not really talked about in the mainstream of nutrition. Those phytonutrients are crazy important that come naturally in your raw fruits and vegetables, especially if you get them at farmer's markets and they haven't been GMO'd to death before they arrive at the grocery store. But but um, but this is also known as the beauty pill. Hair, skin, nails will all be better, especially if you're drinking your water, which is the free source and the number one way to look prettier and have better everything. If the two combine together, the last thing I'll say is if you've got a lot of weight to lose, like 75 pounds or more, it will also help aid in that skin drawing up in your weight loss journey. Very inexpensive to use. Sorry, uh, Kristen, I'm so passionate about this product. I know you've watched your dad have a miracle with this product. Yeah, um, he obviously used it for the pulmonary reasons and his asthma. He hasn't had um, an asthma medicine since 2013, so it is great for lungs. But you are right. It is great for hair, skin, and nails. Um, I use four of these every night because I am almost 40. So I am trying to get that skin to stay tight. And if you didn't know vitamin C, uh, this is the best form of vitamin C you can get. This is the acerola cherry form. And um, vitamin C in high doses will actually help your body create collagen. It is the precursor to collagen creation. And so what do you think of women we think of when we're doing skincare, we put all the stuff on our face, but that's only hitting the epidermis. It's the top layer of face. We want to get to the dermis. How do you do that? You got to get it in the bloodstream. This is going to get it in the bloodstream and it's going to help the creation of collagen at that deep layer. So this is why China obviously does really well with promoting it as their beauty pill because it actually will create skin changes if you, if you are strict and regimented with it. You know, Kristen, the problem you and I have, because we only wanted to talk about, we got three products left, by the way, about five minutes. I know. I know. But, but yeah, we're we good. We both just kept adding one. Like, we can't not talk about this one. We can't not talk about this one. So you don't have to use them all, but you need to know about them all. And we're hopefully going to get a film editor to cut these up individually. We'll all get them all up on YouTube. This longer version will be out here this afternoon as soon as Anthony gets it uploaded to the Anthony Moreland YouTube channel. But the Magna Cal D is one of my wife's favorite. I would say it's uh, most women's best friend for a multitude of reasons. Number one reason for headaches, migraines, number one, by far, low magnesium dehydration, generally in combination. So most women don't get enough water. Most women don't get enough of the right forms of magnesium. That's the other issue. Most you're going to buy at the store are the wrong forms. They're just going to give you run the runs. Um, but also most women need a little calcium supplementation. But a lot of people don't know this, that calcium deposits in the cardiovascular system now is being identified as very problematic for cardiovascular events. So there is a ton of research now showing that you need the K2 with any calcium supplementation because that is the carrier for the calcium to keep it from being deposited. Uh, but calcium is important. We need it. Most women are told by their doctor they need it. So the other thing is, if you do your research, D3 may be the most important vitamin of all. There is so much research showing that autoimmune disease, cancer, a lot of those patients at a very high percentage have low D3 levels. There's a direct correlation in many things. I'm not saying it's the cause, but I'm just saying there is a, from the nutritionists and doctors that believe in nutrition, they all seem to be zoning in on the importance of D3. So the greatest thing about this Magna Cal D product is it's four hyper important ingredients in one product for 40 bucks where you're going to go to the store and pay 25 and buy them all three separately. It is a unbelievable product to better sleep and to prevent uh, or be preventative on headaches and things along those lines. Again, I got excited. I didn't even talk about the mushrooms. Kristen, I don't mean to over talk you. I'll turn it to you. Well, I was going to mention those, but D3, obviously we know is the sunshine vitamin. So if you're not getting out in the sun, most people are deficient in vitamin D. So you should definitely be supplementing with this. And then I was going to mention the fact that we have the shiitake and the reishi mushroom in there. 
And to me, those are just cool that they add those in because you're just getting a little extra hit of some antioxidants and uh, we know medicinal mushrooms. So it makes the full package in this product. So it's wonderful. Yeah, and if you wanna know magnesium itself, is, it is especially women, it's notoriously at a very high percentage, way more than 50% low in women. Men too, but women seemingly more so. But look at what all it's important for. I mean, this is not partner co. Again, we're making no health things. This came off of Google. Go Google it yourself. Go. Why is magnesium and the right forms of magnesium important to your body? And this is the stuff you'll find out there documented by all the clinical research going on around the country. And then uh, also uh, tie in that water. Because remember, the water and magnesium are so important for all the things that we hear all the times that people are dealing with. Water, magnesium. That's the first thing I tell a person that tells me they got headaches all the time, especially the migraines. Next, we've already talked about how bad the saturated six oils for you. Go, if you're a TikTok or Instagram person, go follow some people that are uh, that understand that saturated six seed oil world. They'll explain to you how it damages your cell membrane, sometimes beyond repair. It takes, I think it, the last top doctors I've been watching saying it takes about two years to get those seed oils completely removed back out of those cell membranes and get your body really functioning at its peak again. It's probably the, the tipping point for a lot of people into blood sugar issues and a tipping point for weight gain. So at bare minimum, we've got to get a balance in there with the good, healthy omega-3 fats, the good fats, the avocados, the green olives, the salmon is really high in the omega-3s. But how many people eat? Um, not farm raised, but fresh caught salmon on a regular basis. That's the reason a lot of us have to, to um, take supplementation. The great thing about our omega is, number one, it comes from small fish. The bigger fish a lot of times carry the heavy metals. So we eliminate that. Number two is the omega-3 world is notorious for using a, an agent called hexene, H-E-X-I-N-E, -E, uh, to actually uh, get that omega-3 out. Hexene is a known carcinogen. Uh, it's bad for us. And you can actually find some YouTube videos showing the wrong omega-3s that use that. They'll eat a styrofoam cup up. You, you went and typed in, you'd have to type in RX omega-3 test. You'll see a lot of those out there on, on YouTube on it. But our omega-3s do not use that. They use a different form to extract it out. But we also throw in CoQ10, which we're going to talk about as our last product. And, and I'm going to turn it to you, Kristen, to finish the omega-3 and then you'll roll right into the CoQ10. So let me mention this last thing. For a woman, a lot of times the omega Q is enough. You're going to get 20... Uh, milligrams of the CoQ10 along with the omega-3. For men, you're going to need the CoQ10 in addition. And if you're a woman with low energy, you're going to need the CoQ10 for energy. And, and Chris, let's get ready to explain why. Yeah, so obviously omegas are good. They're helping with keeping cholesterol down. So if you're someone who struggles with cholesterol, you should definitely be supplement supplementing with um, an omega and he already mentioned the fact that ours are from small fish. Most omegas on the market are from large fish. These are also from very clean water sources. So you're getting a very clean omega product. And you'll, you'll notice it when you use ours. You don't burp it. You won't taste it. And um, I always love to see the cholesterol levels change when they start using this one because I've, I've yet to see um, cholesterol levels not change when this product's been used consistently. So it is a perfect to me omega product and i love the fact that ours puts the coq10 in it and that does lead, lead us to the bio pro q so when people ask me what my favorite product is or what is in my top favorite product people don't normally expect me to say the bio pro q and this is absolutely in my top five and bio pro q is our coq10 and this is a naturally occurring um enzyme that we all create. We have it naturally occurring in our bodies. The issue is after about the age of 20, 25, our levels start to decline. And this is a enzyme that is stored in the mitochondria of all of our cells. This is actually the precursor or the energy source that we need for all of our cells to thrive. It, yeah, it is so, the purpose. So, Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, Kristen, it is now by a lot of Almost all cardiovascular doctors now, I'd say 80% of them recommend uh, the right form of CoQ10 in your diet. But going back to that mitochondria, the ATP energy production, it is the catalyst needed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the number one reason you need on CoQ10 is if you have what, if you just have low energy all the time, it could be a multitude of things causing it. 
but for sure, CoQ, and by the way, it's very slow acting. This is not energy. You're not going to take CoQ10 to no. feel better tomorrow. It's no. 30 to 45 days to really get it built back into those cells, get that cofactor built in for that energy production. It's a very slight increase. So you kind of just wake up six weeks in and realize you're feeling really good all the time. Yeah. But this, I've found this on a personal level throughout the years using CoQ10. I mean, naturally, you just run out, you're taking a lot of other stuff, don't order it, whatever reason. It's very slow to go away, too. Like three, four, five weeks, nothing noticed. But I would always find out in that second or third month, and I finally correlated the two together, my energy levels weren't quite as good. And I was like, what is going on? I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Why do I not feel as good today? And I was like, hey, gum, and I haven't had my CoQ10 in six weeks. So it is oh. so important for energy production. Yeah, and, and that's it actually assists your mitochondria into making the ATP. So it's like, if you don't give your car gas, it doesn't run. It's kind of like if you're not giving your cells their food, they're not going to run. So that's actually what this is. So, um, and your body will naturally just start losing its ability to make it. So if you can supplement with it, well, guess the, your levels are going to rise. It's also a really high potent antioxidant. So it's going to help prevent uh, cellular damage. To me, that's the perfect source because it's right at your cells. So it's kind of hitting the double whammy because it's in your cells. And so it's giving the cellular protection while giving cellular energy. Um, it is going to be the highest concentrations of CoQ10 in your big organs that use a lot of energy. So your heart, your brain, your muscles. Um, I use a lot of this, obviously, again, at night. I use four of these a night, too, because I do train a lot. So my muscles actually require a lot of a, uh, bio or CoQ10. So I high dose this one as well. And you can overdose on this one. This one's not. This is not one you can take too much of because, again, it's just an antioxidant. So um, this one's going to also help your body convert fatty acids and ATP, glucose into ATP. So overall, it's going to help with more cellular energy and making you feel good. So one of my favorites. Yeah, I just realized my camera had been off the whole time. I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So, um, but anyway, thank you, Kristen, for being on board with us today. We'll do our yes. very best to get this cut up where you can have singular approaches with these products. But just know this will be up on two places before the weekend is out. It'll be on Anthony Muller's YouTube channel. And it will also be on researchmoa.com. Both of those places, this will be there that you can utilize. What I would do until we get the cut-ups done is that figure out the time markers. And if you need to explain a product to somebody, just send the video and say, go to this timeline. And that's where they're going to be talking about the omega-3, the vitamin mineral, the noni, the moa, whatever it may be. But this is a resource for you to be able to answer a whole lot of questions without us having to tie Kristen White up for 24 hours a day answering questions for each individual because everything that we answer all day for people we're just covered in this in deal. I mean, there's little bitty things maybe we go through or other people go through, but that's the gist of it there. So thank you, Kristen, for taking the time. This You're morning. I know you moved some CrossFit classes around so you could be with us or hybrid classes around. Yes, you're so welcome. It's a pleasure. Everybody tell Chris 